As Times Now touches the magical mark of broadcasting in a hundred countries, superstar Rithik Roshan congratulated the channel on its latest milestone. Congratulations to yeah. Times Now, a hundred countries. That's yeah, that's uh, that's amazing. I think. I think uh, you know supplying news, objective and uh, unbiased news, and making people aware uh, of their environment is, is one of the most uh, noble services that, that that we can do. So, huge congratulations to the entire Thank team. Thank you very much. And fittingly so, as his new film Kabul, which has been a roaring success critically, also crossed the hundred crore mark at the Indian box office. The star who appeared in the revenge drama which released over the Republic Day holiday talked all about the love that has been continuously pouring in for the film. It is the love of the audience that actually matters. Uh, but how would you actually gauge you know, how many people have uh, seen and loved you? So for that purpose, I think the number is uh, an indication. Mm. It's a, it's, a, it's a pointer towards, uh, you know, that very appreciation and love. Uh, so it's not the number itself, mm -hmm. but uh, that to which it points at mm -hmm. is, you know, what is important, the appreciation, because there are only so many people that I can actually, you know, uh, meet live who tell me, uh, give me the feedback. There's only so much that you, you can read mm -hmm. uh, in the papers, in the media and stuff. But the numbers actually give you a, a very good indication of, of uh, that kind of success. As Rithik basks in the glow of his latest box office success, he also talked about the current state of the industry and how things are actually looking up moving forward. You know, um, I don't have information about uh, the number of footfalls, which is actually what uh, will de determine the right answer. But uh, going by the success of Dangal, I uh, and the fact that it has uh, increased, you know, the the final number uh, has is 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 much higher now. Uh, that is a very good sign to actually at least um, uh, you know debate whether it's it's increased because it certainly seems like it has. Uh, the number of theatres are increasing, uh, so that's uh, something that will add uh, for sure uh, to that number. And uh, yes, and you know, uh, progress is is uh, the mainstay of, of any uh, field in this uh, world. So that is going to be the way forward. Catch Rithik Roshan in conversation with Times Now on its milestone of reaching 100 countries across the world. Well, so as Times Now reaches that magical milestone of broadcasting in 100 countries, we are joined with a very, very uh, special superstar over here. His latest film, of course, has uh, broken the records, literally. It's uh, also received a lot of critical acclaim, and it's been loved by the audiences. Rithik Roshan, welcome, and thank you very much for joining Nicole, us. Nepal, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Congratulations to yeah. Times Now, 100 countries. That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing, I think, you know, supplying news, objective and... Uh, unbiased news and making people aware uh, of their environment is, is one of the most uh, noble services that, that, that we can do. So huge congratulations to the entire Thank team. Thank you very much. Uh, Rithik, you know, to begin with, of course, uh, Kabul has done extremely well. You've uh, crossed that 100 crore uh, benchmark. But, you know, for Rithik Roshan, is that really important? Is that something, uh, you know, is that something that really drives you or is it a much larger, you know, the love of audiences that really propels you forward? Yes, uh, it is the love of the audience that actually matters. Uh, but how would you actually gauge, you know, how many people have uh, seen and loved you? So for that purpose, I think the number is uh, an indication. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a pointer towards, uh, you know, that very appreciation and love. Uh, so it's not the number itself, mm. but uh, that to which it points at. Mm. is you know what is important to me and i think that should be true for all, uh, for any uh, person in a creative uh, process you know mm. if your journey is a creative one then uh, the number game as they say mm -hmm. uh, should uh, you should not have an attachment to that because it's simply 
very, very simply, uh, you know, um, will instill a desire for more, mm. more numbers, and that will kind of, um, you know, trickle into a desire for power. And uh, that's where ego comes in yeah. and where creativity then just leaves the door, leaves the building. <laughs> Mm. So I think it's very important to uh, use the numbers as an indication of mm. of, uh, of the love and uh, the appreciation because there are only so many people that I can actually, you know, uh, meet live who tell yeah. me, uh, give me the feedback. There's only so much that you, you can read mm. uh, in the papers. You know, the other thing, since we're talking about Kabul, you know, it's not an easy uh, role to play. Uh, how did you prepare f to play a character who's visually challenged. And uh, you've done it before, of course, you've uh, played characters who were differently abled before. Yeah. Koi so Milia how, and yeah, Zarish. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how did, how did that work out? Did you need a coach? Did you? Uh, yes, I, I did have, have a coach on the set. Um, uh, Ritik, the film deals with, uh, the central theme of it is rape. And it deals with, you know, how uh, emotionally a woman goes through after she's raped and thereafter how the immediate family deals with it. Now, given the context of what we see in India, the increasing sexual violence against women, you, look, you know, just look at what happened in Bengaluru on New Year's Eve. Uh, where do you feel we are failing as a society? Because there's, it's obvious that we are not doing enough to stop these crimes against women. So where do you think, uh, you know, we are failing? Well, first of all, um, uh, Kabul, in Kabul, we, we took a, uh, a very responsible stance. Also me as a father, I w had to make sure that um, the depiction of, of something that is so gruesome mm. uh, doesn't need to be exploited on, on the camera. Uh, it doesn't need to, uh, you know, it it doesn't need to be dramatized, mm -hmm. over dramatized, because it itself, in the nature of it, is is uh, enough of a of a you know uh, can make an impact. Um, I also would like to point out uh, there were you know there there are some um, uh, people that uh, have pointed out that you know there is uh, the woman mm -hmm. uh, who after uh, the incident happens you know tells her husband that, uh, you know, I know I'm not worthy of you now. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the same as I was. Um, I would just like to uh, clarify that, that, mm. uh, you know, in the dynamics of a relationship, uh, when a husband and wife are in a situation like this, where the husband mm. is, is, is all, uh, you know, uh, coiled up inside because he's blaming himself, and uh, the wife uh, is actually strong enough the mm. actually that that scene shows the strength of of the wife mm. the girl the uh, it's the feminine power that comes into play uh, but as a wife she is trying to get a response from this man who has gone into silence and whenever you uh, want a response you actually prick where it hurts okay so that is a line that she says where uh, you know she wants him to respond and he's he's gone into silence mm. having said that uh, yes, uh, you know I don't need to uh, expand on and on uh, uh, what uh, you know the situation is with with uh, uh, the insecurity that that uh, this brings about in our environment for the mm. for uh, girls. I think uh, there there's so much that you can say, but me as a father, uh, I think it's it's uh, it's up to us to uh, instill. The, mm. I was going the, to ask you that. Right you believe we should begin with uh, educating our boys. You have to. It has to. So it, it, it is going to take. Uh, it is going to take uh, maybe some more time. Mm. Maybe the next generation. But uh, that's what, uh, I, on my part, I am going to make sure of that. That uh, my 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 children understand and learn the value and uh, the respectability uh, and uh, equality. Uh, this whole uh, you know sexual. Uh, agitation is and the aggressiveness where it comes from why it comes from uh, you know where are the vacuums and 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 why, what are they trying to fill you know what 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 is it that uh, so it's 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 something that that uh, I am uh, very very mm -hmm. impacted by individually and uh, on my part uh, as a father I am going to make sure that my my kids learn the right uh, Values and as a person who has a platform to uh, mm. to uh, speak and to influence, I will do as much as I can in my power uh, to uh, propagate that uh, that thought. All right, now uh, you know Kabul, of course, was the first film that was released in Pakistan. Uh, 
how do you feel about it? Uh, you know, you've broken barriers in that sense. And do you think largely, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> perhaps politics should stay away from the creative space? Well, I'm an actor. If I get more of an audience uh, that, that, that watches a piece of my creation, that, of course, it's the most fulfilling thing for me. Mm. Uh, for me to know that uh, our neighboring country, uh, you know, will, uh, has, has uh, fans who will be watching and uh, human to human will, will be, uh, you know, I will be able to contribute uh, to their lives in some way, either by inspiring them or helping them to, you know, just vent in the, the theaters through uh, the emotional journey. Because uh, that's what films do, you know, they're either cathartic or they're inspiring or they're just plain entertaining. It's all a service. Mm. I would like to serve as many people as I can in this, in this, in this world. Uh, that's mm. my purpose. Without so, boundaries? Without boundaries, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, as an artist, that, that's what my, uh, my focus is on. So, so what's going to get that sparkle back to your eye this year? What, what are you looking you at? You know, uh, right, uh, right now, I'm just curious. I'm curious <laughs> because I know that life is always going to surprise me. Mm. Uh, good and bad, yeah. but uh, I get happy with the good surprise and the bad, you know, because because every uh, situation is a movement. It's a movement forward. Everything is going to change me, and if I can control that change and look for the positive, it'll change me for the better. So I I'm I'm very curious right now. I have actually a blank slate. Okay. I have a blank slate, and the blank slate is the best thing best, you can have. Best in your way life. to go forward. Because because yeah. you know then then you are free mm. to imagine, you know. Uh, imagine the possibilities. So that's what I think I'm doing nowadays.